Hariyo Tatsat Chapter 3 Arjun said Krishna if you consider knowledge as superior to action why then do you urge me to this dreadful action Keshav with your complex words you seem to be bewilder my mind therefore tell me plainly the one principle by which i may attain the highest good shri bhagwan said o sinless arjun in this world to achieve equanimity a twofold path has been enunciated by me before the path of knowledge for men of renunciation known as sankhya yogi and the path of action for men of action known as karma yogi not by non performance of actions does a man attain freedom from the bondage of actions nor by mere renunciation does he attain perfection for no one under any circumstances can remain even for a moment without undertaking action everyone is compelled to act by the mode born of nature known as prakriti he who while restraining the organs of action thinks of sense objects in his mind he of deluded understanding is a hypocrite but he who controls his senses through the mind o arjun and engages himself in the path of action with the organs of actions and sense without being attached is superior do perform thy prescribed duty for action is superior to inaction besides even the maintenance of the body would not be possible for thee by inaction the mankind is bound by actions other than those done for the sake of sacrifice therefore o son of kunti perform action for that sake and without attachment having created mankind along with the spirit of sacrifice known as yagya at the beginning of creation the creator brahma said to them you shall prosper by this may this yield the enjoyment you seek foster the gods through this sacrifice and let the gods be gracious to you thus each fostering the other selflessly you will attain the highest good fostered by the sacrifice the gods will bestow upon you all the requisites necessary for performing your duty he who relishes these without using these in the service of others is verily a thief the righteous who eat the remnants of the sacrifice are released from all sins but those sinful one who cook food for themselves verily devour sin all beings are evolved from food production of food is dependent on rain rain ensues from sacrifice and sacrifice is rooted in prescribed action know that prescribed action has its origin in the vedas and the vedas proceed from the indestructible brahm shri bhagwan hence the all pervading infinite is always present in sacrifice known as yagya o parth he who does not in this world follow the cycle thus set in motion is sinful and sensual desires and lives in vain but for a person who takes delight only in the self is satisfied with the self and content in the self alone verily there is no further work to be done by him for him in this world there is no gain whatsoever in the performance of an action or its non performance nor does he have any self interest in other beings therefore perform duty efficiently without attachment for by actions without attachment man attains the supreme it was by action alone that janak and others attained perfection thou should perform selfish action also for the good of the world whatsoever an ideal person does he is followed by others as well whatever standard he sets the world follows the same o parth there is nothing in the three worlds that is for me to do 
nor is there anything unattained that should be achieved, yet I engage myself in action. O Arjun, for if I do not engage myself in action without care, men would in every way follow my path. If I did not perform action, these worlds would perish and I would prove to be the creator of confusion and for the destruction of these people. As ignorant men act with attachment to action, O Bharat, so should the wise act without attachment, thus wishing the welfare of the world. Let no knowing man, realizing the self, unsettle the mind of ignorant people. Act with attachment, but he should make others to act, while himself performing his duties with devotion. All actions are performed, in all cases, by the modes of nature known as Prakriti. He whose mind is beguiled by egoism thinks I am the doer. However, he who has true insight into the respective spheres of modes of nature and their actions, holding that is the modes of nature in the form of senses, mind, etc., that moves among the objects of perception, does not get attached to them, Arjun. Those who are completely deluded by the modes of Prakriti remain attached to those modes and actions. The man of perfect knowledge should not unsettle the mind of those ignorant of imperfect knowledge. Therefore, dedicating all actions to me with your mind fixed on me, the self of all, free from desire and the feeling of miam and cured of mental agitation, fight. Persons who always follow this teaching of mine, with faith and without questions, are released from the bondage of all actions known as karm. But those who demur at my teaching and do not follow it, deluded of all knowledge and discrimination, know them to be doomed to destruction. Even a wise man acts in accordance with his nature. All beings follow their own nature. Of what use is restraint by force? Attraction and repulsion are rooted in all sense objects. Man should never allow himself to be swayed by them because they are the two principal enemies standing in the way of his redemption. Better is one's own duty, also known as dharma, though devoid of merit than the duty of another well performed. Better is death in one's own duty than of another, which is fraught with danger. Arjun said, But why is a man impelled to commit sin, Krishna, as if by force, even against his own will? Sri Bhagwan said, It is desire and it is anger, born of the modes of passion known as rajas most greedy and most sinful. Know this to be the enemy of concerned. As fire is covered by smoke, as mere by dust, and as an embryo by placenta, so is this knowledge concealed by desire. O Parth, knowledge, or Gyan, is enveloped by this constant enemy of the wise, in the form of desire which is insatiable like fire. The senses, the mind, and the intellect are said to be its abode. Veiling of wisdom by the senses, mind, and intellect deludes the embodied soul. Therefore, O Dhananjay, you must first control your senses and then kill this evil thing which obstructs Gyan, which is knowledge of Absolute or Nirgun Brahma.